Welcome to another Debaco University video lecture production. Here we're going to be investigating cannabis indica and explaining some of its unique properties and kind of what defines it. Looking just at the image here, we can see that the leaf structure, the morphology, is really how we classify an indica versus sativa versus some of the others. So here this indica is a much shorter and wider leaf compared to other sativas, which are having a longer and thinner leaf style. Now, in addition, uh, indicas are generally agreed to originate on the um, Asian subcontinent, possibly in the Afghanistan region. So we kind of look in this general region of the world right here. Whether cannabis indica and cannabis sativa are truly separate species is actually a matter of debate and some controversy. Since its classification is based on morphology, the general plant behavior is what is being compared here. So we're looking at the indicas having certain morphologies or certain physical characteristics. Now the indica plant morphology, so what is what are those physical characteristics? What does this plant actually look like? Well, the height is small growing, usually one to six feet in height, and the internode spacing is typically three inches or less. The leaf morphology tends to be a very wide appearance, as we can clearly see in this image here and also in this plant as well. The leaves tend to be a little bit more of a darker shade of green, again, comparing them a little bit more to the more traditional sativas, for example. They tend to have more side branching than sativas, resulting in a wider, bushier plant morphology overall. As a result, this will cause denser plants overall in their general structure. Popular cultivation locations for our indicas here. In general, they're kind of that kind of in between, that I call that Goldilocks plant morphology compared to others. As a result, it increases the flexibility of locations that it can be used effectively in. Great for growers looking to have a quick turnovers between growing cycles, but they don't get quite as, as tall and quite take up the area that sativa would. However, indicas are still photoperiod dependent, so outdoor plantings be aware. Uh, the timing is also important because they get shorter. You want to be mindful of that. You don't want to plant them too late in the season because they might get flipped into flower a little bit sooner and even stunt them further. Just in general, there are many uh, indica cultivars that exist. Northern Lights is among the most famous strain of all time, and it's also a pure indica for just a general sense of comparison. We have the Bubba Kush as another example. All these are going to have that shorter kind of plant morphology, and if you look at one of the leaves, it's going to be more of that uh, short and wider kind of appearance there. Just to give you some idea of what defines morphologically a cannabis indica plant.